Erdogan has said that the YPG terrorist organization located on the southern border of Turkey poses a security threat to Turkey and if action is not taken against this terrorist organization then it could spread like tumor. He also touched on the peace corridor that Turkey plans to create and President Erdogan said that this peace corridor would not just benefit Turkey's security situation but would also create a conducive environment for the Syrians to be able to return home and and uh, also the Turkish officials have been saying that their patience is running out. If the U.S. does not agree on the safe zone, then Turkey may have to go unilateral on this and create the conditions for peace in the area. The U.S. side has responded to that. U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper has said that such unilateral action from Turkey would be unacceptable for the United States. But the Turkish officials are saying that uh, Washington needs to behave like an ally and stop supporting a terrorist organization. Furthermore, the Turkish side has uh, talked about the S-400. We heard earlier from President Erdogan saying that he hopes that uh, President Trump would not allow the S-400 missile defense system to hold the relations between Turkey and the U.S. hostage. He's also said there is no concrete evidence to suggest that the S-400 missile defense system poses any threat to the F-35 fighter jets or NATO security. He said that Turkey's offer to form a joint committee that would probe U.S. claims is still there, but it has not been taken up by the United States. He also touched on the extradition of a FETO leader uh, who resides in the United States, and he said that the U.S. needs to take concrete steps to extradite uh, the FETO leader and other members who are taking protection in the United States.